and welcome to my next session. Today we will be covering how to set up the voucher numbers with prefix and suffix. As you all know there are many voucher types available in Tally and you can also create your own voucher type as you wish. It is also very important that we can prepare a different voucher numbering system for your voucher types. So we will see how to set up a voucher numbering in Tally Prime. Just to create a story, I have Mr. Amit, he wanted to set up a sales voucher numbering as this and the purchase orders as this. We'll show you in Tally Prime how to set up that voucher numbering. From the gateway of Tally, you will have to go to the button Alter and you have voucher type over here. Enter on it. Select the voucher type in which you want to change the voucher numbering. For example, in this case, Sales. You can see here the voucher numbering has set it as automatic. That is perfectly fine. And automatic manual override means the numbering system will be automatic. At the time of entry, Tally will allow you to alter that voucher number. Manual means purely manual. Whatever the number you want to specify, you can specify it. Multi-user auto means in the multi-user environment, uh, this will be very useful. So here we will select automatic and we will set this option as yes to change the voucher numbering. Okay, you can see the starting number. The starting number will be always one. Okay, so here we will set it as starting number as one. Width of numerical part, how many digits you want as a voucher number is what we have to specify here. For example, you wanted 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So there are five digits, right? So you will set it as five. And if you wanted to add zero in front of the number, you have to set this option as yes. And I'm saying from 1st of July onwards, I don't want it to touch my existing data. I want from 1st of July, my voucher number should start from one and it should be yearly. And from July, I should have a prefix of prefix like this. And I should have a suffix like this. Okay. So the starting number is going to be one with the five numerical part and refill with zero and July the prefix will be invoice and the suffix will be 2022. I'll just save this voucher alteration screen. Okay, accept it. Now we will go to vouchers and we will go to sales. You can see the voucher numbering has been changed as we provided the same way we can set it for purchase order also in this story mr amit wanted to set it for purchase order also so we will go to alter we will go to voucher type we will go to purchase order we will come to the voucher numbering we will set it as automatic we will enable this option use advanced configuration as yes and the starting number he wanted us 456 and he wanted four digits and he also wanted zero to in front of the number so we will set this option as yes and from when he wanted from july onwards he want 456 as a number and he want july either prefix as lbo and the suffix as 2022 and we will save the voucher screen voucher alteration screen accept it now we will go back vouchers we'll click on other vouchers we'll click on purchase order you can see the number as lpo 0456 2022 this is how we set voucher numbering in chat hope you have understood how to set up the voucher number with prefix and suffix if you have any questions please do write to me or contact me on my number thank you so much